So is this a company that has cars for sale and they want to sell them? Yes, sir. Bullshit. You fucking owe me money. You're lucky I made time for this call and I'm not being a dick. You got to know who you're selling to. You cannot stop me. I'm gonna make it to the top I see. Caught a cover there, not cocky. You cannot break me. This was fine for the taking. Got an itch, man, I'm making. Oh, I'll keep my head down and try to be patient. Yeah, but this is easy. Let's go. We'll, we'll use him real quick. Let's go. Give it up for Nate. Give it up for Nate. Yeah, by the way, hey, before Nate goes, can you guys do me a favor? I mean, think about an objection in your industry. Like, guys, like, I can practice closing. I can bring people up and I can say, what industry are you in? And I can bring you up here and I can hit you with something, right? But I really want to make this last hour count. If nobody has any questions, then I'll be happy to do that. But, like, this is where, like, some of you came here and you're like, dude, we struggle with this one thing. I want to know what the fuck it is because I will put it to bed right now. Go ahead. Yeah, so um, get to the end. Guys, like, look, you got a bunch of case studies, you got a bunch of proof, but I don't know if it's gonna work for me. Okay, are you selling dealer advertising? Yes, sir. So is this a company that has cars for sale and they wanna sell them? Yes, sir. Bullshit. Listen, so number one, so you, so somebody requested some information on advertising and you're calling them back or you're cold calling somebody? We're on a Zoom call, we've already went through, they've seen everything, it's down to the wire. And, and it's either they don't know if it's going to work for them or they want to go find it cheaper from somebody else. Bullshit. Number one, they don't believe in you. Yeah. That's the only way. Yep. Look, let me, is everybody, everybody, let me explain how the automotive industry works. Car dealerships are fucking street smart people. They're not book smart. I'm not saying some of them aren't, but most of them are street smart. Am I right? They're fucking massively street smart. You know what that means? They look right through your fucking soul and they know if you're selling them a bag of fucking shit or if they can believe in you and trust you. Listen, I'm going to tell you this. I would say, Nate, how old are you? 26. Nate, you're too young. Yes, sir. Okay, you need to, look, say, so I'm going to ask you, I'm going to say, sir, let me ask you a question. Obviously, you own your store. What year did you get in the car business? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. Two one zero zero two five four. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. What year? Nineteen ninety-seven. Yeah. So the guy says nineteen ninety-seven. That was the year you were born. Yes, sir. Okay. So the guy says nineteen ninety-seven, and you say, "Listen to me. You're from the era of the ironclad handshake, in which men and women looked in each other's eyes when they made deals. And you're looking at a bunch of people right now that keep over delivering for you, telling you they're going to do something, and none of the results come through, and you're fucking sick and tired of being sick and tired." But that doesn't change the fact that you gotta sell cars, sir. You got a hundred cars on the lot and the faster they go away and the quicker they go away, the less interest you pay and the better the marketer is, the more money you'll make on each one, the more money you'll make on the back end. You probably have a targeted clientele you want. You want, you want bad credit customers, good credit customers. What do you want? Uh, we, we do a mix, but we do- No, no, what do you want, sir? Subprime, higher grosses. Oh, but hold on, you want bad credit customers or good credit? Bad credit. Okay, so we're gonna get you bad credit customers. You wanna make it how much a month? Um, okay, listen, answer the question. You should know what you want. I'm asking you questions because I'm going to deliver and execute. If you haven't been, the, these dealers know these answers. Am I right? Yeah. See, the problem is Nate's 27 years old. I started the car business in 1999. That was 25 years ago. And the deal is, is that these are fucking sharks. If people are 40, most people that own car dealerships is the average age of, of at least 40 years old. Would you agree, Nate? Yes, sir. Which means they're looking at you saying, my son is your age. And here you are trying to sell me advertising. You better be really fucking sharp because if these guys feel like that you don't know more than they know, which by the way, they're older, so they're not te very tech smart. So you can say, listen to me, don't let my age fool you from my experience. I eat, sleep, and breathe analytics, technology, and audiences, and I'm gonna tell you something right now, I know how to get the clients that you're looking for, the hot end market buyers, to your showroom for. Is that what you want, Nate? Yes, sir. What would that be worth to you? I'd be worth everything. Yeah, I don't need everything, Nate. I need you to say yes to this right now. Let me get to work so we can quit bullshit. They'll f say yes, won't they? Yeah. See, you, Nate, you got to quit pitching motherfuckers. And these car guys, they need you to fucking talk to them. How do I know this? Because I close car dealers every month. And by the way, so it's not the language. Number one, if you're 40 years old and you've been in the business for 20 years and you're a car guy, you're a shark. You know what cowards look like. They don't believe in the younger people. You've got to fucking talk to them like they fucking owe you money. You have to talk to them like they fucking owe you money. You fucking owe me money. You're lucky I made time for this call, and I'm not being a dick, yeah. but everybody's fighting for my time, and I love you, that's why I took this call. Yeah. They're like, what the fuck's going on here? It's like, you gotta spin it on them. 
Does that make sense? Yes, I know it sounds weird, guys. You got to know who you're selling to. If I was selling to somebody else, not automotive, that's not how I do it. You feel me? You see what I'm saying? This is how this goes. I'm just being for real. So I love you, but you, we need to spend some time together. Please. Okay, because the way that you present to these guys, if you, number one, if you got on a Zoom call with them, they're ready to pay you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's easier to get a hold of the president of the United States than a general manager of a car dealership. <laughs> okay, so if you got one on a Zoom meeting and you didn't close it, bro, yeah, yeah. Okay, that motherfucker had his wallet laying on the cabinet. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's roll. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.